What is up guys, it is another week on the van build and this week we are starting to move, we've been and bought some wood as you can see from out there the table is set up so the aim today is to get the roof battening done and some of the side battening I've realised now I've got to relocate some cables so it can be a lot of very time lapse of this one as we're drilling and, and sawing and what have you so yes let's get cracking Tell you what, the worst tell you to wear safety boots on a, a working site. So I just dropped the tape measure on my toe and it flipping kills. So now what I need to work out is how far, about how far along these beams do a drill. So yes, I want to work that out and then start drilling. So if my math be correct, we need to countersink these screws at 27, 60, 80, 705. Let's give it a go. So these are the screws we bought. They're like a, they're basically if you look at the end, they've got like a drill bit on them to help drill into the metal. So I do need to countersink them to get the hex link into the wood so it's free. But these are supposed to be really good. So yeah, I'll give it a go. So the wood battens are up. Well, three of them are anyway. These first two, that's had an extra uh, wood screw into them because the bolts weren't just weren't catching. So I think it was the wood was too long. So I probably need to do them a little bit shorter. But the third one went in a lot, a lot easier now. It's uh, shorter. So yeah, let's get cracking with the rest. So that is all the roof battens in place now. Keep catching the mic. Some of them didn't actually bite as well, but like this one, for example, because there's a slight little gap in it. I'm not, probably can't see it, but yeah, they're in. Um, made a bit of a cock up here. This cable is literally wired exactly where the button needs to go. So I'm gonna have to rip all that out and then we'll have to do that. We'll have to wire that in behind the shower, I think at some point. Maybe, but we'll see. So we've started the framing on this side of the wall. I'll just put two horizontal beams. What I'm going to try and do is build some kind of frame around the windows. I'm not 100% sure how I'll do it, but yeah. We'll get in there. We'll just do one side today, I think. This is a hot one. Now, I can't remember what the last update was that I gave you, but... We've got the two horizontal battens in and I've just put some kind of frame around the window so what we plan on doing here is building a shelf. We'll do the same on the other side. Um, I think that's the difficult bit now. I've just got to do the bottom, one in the middle and then the top ones and then that's that side done. So I think that's me wrapping up for today. I think I've got one more piece to do down here, which is to sit down this edge here. But one side is nearly complete. I'm not sure if I need to put another one in there, really. So we'll see. But yeah, that's me signing off for today. We have had our new floor delivered, which you can see there behind me. So the next job is to get this bad boy fitted. This is just going to be the floor base, so eventually there will be a vinyl um, going over this, uh, going over the top of it. But um, we didn't actually keep the original hardboard floor, so we decided just to order a, a one there off the internet, and it actually came ready cut for us so we don't actually have to do anything with it other than just lay it so nice and simple.
Good morning everybody. It's Saturday which means it's a full day of working on the van again and we have an absolutely huge list of jobs that we'd like to get done this weekend but I'll get into those in a moment. First we need some coffee. Oh, it feels chilly in here this morning. <laughs> okay, so those jobs that I mentioned are, we're going to attempt to try and panel as much of the van as we can. I think we're probably gonna start with the ceiling. We also uh, tried fitting the plywood floor during the week. It doesn't quite fit properly, so we need to make some adjustments to that. And then I'm also gonna be carpeting some of the metal areas just so we can't see the exposed white metal, so. Let's get cracking. So when I mentioned the floor not quite fitting properly, we can see how it joins properly here, but then we've got this larger sheet here. So it's actually in four sections. So we've got one, two, uh, a third one here, which I'm standing on, which you can't really see at the minute, and then four. So piece number four is overlapping. And then we also need a cutout for where the step is on the side door. So hopefully we can try and get that rectified today. You know what, Josh got me up super early this morning, like quarter past six, and said I want us up, ready working on the van at eight o'clock. It's now nine o'clock and he's not even in the van. So Josh is currently trying to sort out the piece of wood for the floor that I was on about. I'm just trying to put it to the right size so it fits properly. Josh is now in the process of screwing down our floor, so he managed to cut a bit off the top corner, the bit that wasn't quite fitting properly, so now it does fit. So he's now getting that screwed down. So we'll be able to walk on the proper floor instead of having to <laughs> be really careful treading on this insulation, worrying about breaking it all the time. on the floor it's so nice when you finally got a floor <laughs> down you can actually walk properly what do you think Millie do you like the floor do you like the floor <laughs> have a floor yay it's not happy, perfect Josh? is it no but it, there's only a slight gap which is there but that's where the shower will be anyway so we're not too bothered about that um just need to screw down this side now need two more light lengths don't we yeah and uh then operation floor is complete that? for anyone wondering we got this floor off ebay so it all comes pre-cut you can actually just um you can pretty much get a floor for any van that you've got can't you you just well, have to see it, don't they? yeah um so it's a lot easier save so you having to do it yourself if you if you're looking to save some time it's you've just got to put it together like a jigsaw but it's fairly easy to do and then just bolt it down it's a lot easier than having to cut one yourself <laughs> it's 
she's got a little blanket for her now, haven't you? Oh, he got old. And then there was Floor. Get it? Me, Josh, Millie, Floor, Four. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I won't do that again. So what Josh is doing at the minute is just screwing on the backing on this side, same as he did for this side, and that's what the cladding will screw into. Correct? No. What is it then? I am correct. So we're going to have to do one by one. Josh has absolutely bossed it today. He, as well as laying the floor, he's now finished the side battens and, <coughs> excuse me, I got something in my throat. Um, we're now going to have a go at cladding the ceiling. What are you thinking? We we'll just need to find out what the middle is. Wait, we need to find the middle, don't we? So we know. So we're going to put two either side. Yeah. But I think we might try and put the cladding together before we put it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least two bits of it. But so, yeah, when we did it on the transporter, the, oh god, the ceiling was just a nightmare, wasn't it? Uh, it was horrendous. It was the worst job I've ever done on. Probably the worst than the solar panels, actually. Yeah. It, well, it's holding your hands above your head. It's, it doesn't sound hard, but once you do it, it's, oh God, it's absolutely killer. Hey, hey come here, you. You're not escaping. Let me go back in there. We are four battens, would you call them? Four cladding strips in, and it's going surprisingly well so far, yeah. which is good. What's worrying? Long may it continue. <laughs> But just those four little beans are looking good already. Changing the drill bits is a pain in the ass though. Is that it? Continuing with the ceiling cladding, um, but we've reached the parts now where the spotlights are going to come out. So as you can see here, Josh has cut holes out where they're going to sit. We've got the wiring coming through here and he's just in the process now of wiring the first one so hopefully well hopefully by the end of today we might be able to switch the lights on do you think no we haven't got battery oh okay ignore that then but we've gone for the black ones um the reason for that being i'd like to get a black sink so i wanted to try and get everything to tie in um and just have some flow to it but i think they look quite nice look sleek on to the next ones one of the things I love about this van is how much head clearance I've got. So this is the ceiling fully done now and you can see there's still a good gap between my head and the ceiling. So whereas in the transporter we were constantly walking around like that to do everything, we won't ever have that problem in this van. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Ten percent is donated to clean our I've had an extremely busy day today. Done all the sides, all the floor, and we've just got half of the roof on. So we wanted to keep, we didn't want to have to have loads of like seams in the roof, or so, I suppose you call it breaks in the roof. So what we've done is we've split it off at the max air from, and I'm gonna put a piece in there, which is gonna be a join. And then I need to trim back the wood here and make another join for the last strut that I wanted to keep like the main living area just one flowing piece which we've done and it's worked out quite nicely because we can just put in one more piece of cladding there once we've got the side piece on and it should overlap and cover these cables quite nicely so we're doing all right to be fair the lights are plumbed in and I think we'll I'll run a cable this after, uh, later on to test them because these are touch lights and dim lights, so I just want to make sure they all work. And there we have one complete ceiling. We've got all the spotlights in, we've got the bathroom light in, and Josh has just put the face plate for the Max Air fan on. So it's looking lovely. Really pleased with that. So 
so what Josh is doing at the minute is cutting down some pieces of plywood and that is going to make the shelf for what we call the bedroom window here so we'll have a nice little shelf that comes out where we can just put little odds and sods on like coffee cups phones etc so we'll have one here and then we'll have another one on the other side here They look all right. I thought they might come out a little bit more, but I suppose that's we don't need them to, do we? It's well, just to put little, to be, you only little want a little bits. bit of a lip, don't you? Yeah, yeah. remember, your cladding's got to go over that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, go, go and grab one of those little cladding bits, and you'll be able to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's a little. Yeah, I think that'll look nice actually. So there'll be well, there'll be another bit that goes at the oh, side yeah. here. Yeah, there's a bit that's going to go all the way. Yeah, it'll be a box. I just need to measure it out. Yeah, I think that look, looks nice. Josh has now built the window frames and is just working out how to install them. But they're looking really nice. Once the cladding's up and it boxes it in, it will look really smart. Hi, I'm Hello. Josh. I'm a master craftsman. <laughs> this is my latest work. My little uh, window shelf. I have no idea what I was doing, but I managed to blag it together. So what I did is I did it shorter at the top and longer at the bottom. So it gives it a bigger shelf. And hopefully, I mean, this should the cladding should either sit flush over it or on top of it. Mm -hmm. Millie, come here. Um, yeah, so that's a little box off. They're not, they're not as flat as we like, but we could pretty much put a phone on it, can't we? Yeah, that's all it's for, really. It's just a phone and a little flower, little knickknacks. Yeah, maybe. shit, basically. <laughs> they look nice though. It just finishes it off, and then it means that we don't see. Wait the foil um, insulation that was in the windowsill before. Uh, just, uh, yeah, you can just cut around it. Come up here. I've got a dog that's just trying to escape every Come on, second. Come on. Um, so yeah, so that's... We, we couldn't really start the side cladding until we'd done those. Really, could we? I don't no. think. Because the curve bent, bent, sort of bends around. So is that the next job now, to do the side cladding? Yes. Oh, yeah. it's going to look lovely well, we when that's on. We need to finish the, the back of the top. So because we didn't go full length on the thing, we've had to put a piece of cladding under here just to screw the last sort of few centimetres, I think mm -hmm. it's like 13 centimetres or something like that. And we're deciding where we're going to start the join from the cladding because we've obviously got the join here. Do we then clad from here or But I think we should clad from the front or we clad from the middle on each side because here we'll have the shower so you won't see the join and here we'll have the kitchen and cu cupboard so you won't see the join there so I think I might start back to front and do a shorter piece at the front a bit of yeah I agree possibly well actually I don't know if it's the join's probably going to be like here so it is going to be over the visible but we'll have cabinets so you might not see it it would work out quite perfectly for the door though, to be fair. Mm-hmm. So, I shall see. Just a little progress update. We're now on to cladding the side walls. And this is the bit that I really like because this is when it starts to transform from a bog standard van into a camper van. It makes it look really homely. Yeah, I can't wait to see the finished product. It's gonna look so that's the corner piece just gone up and it looks so good I love how it just flows because in the transporter we had a bit of a problem trying to fill the corner and we did put a piece of wood over it like we have this but it didn't really you could always see it couldn't you whereas this just a bit has pain, it? this has much more of a flow to it, it looks so good Yay! so just for anyone wondering this is the cladding that we've used that came from Wix We've actually used it before and to say it's uh, flimsy would be a bit of an understatement. It does break very easily. 
however the size up from this was a bit too thick and then obviously the thicker you go the more expensive it gets so we find that this does the job so we've just gone with it this time and it's looking all right so far so i'd recommend it cladding's looking beautiful We haven't got too much further to go actually, but we've reached a point where we've got an awkward cut here, so we're going to have to cut like an L shape in the next piece of cladding. When I say we, I of course refer to Josh, yeah, <laughs> master craftsman. I don't know if I can be asked to do that today or not. Maybe we should go on to next week. The walls are actually harder than the ceiling, which is a surprise. Really. Yeah, they are. The ceiling was really easy compared to the walls. I'm not actually in. But that's only because we've had the windows to cut around. Oh, and also one thing that we have added in, um, which I'm not going to take credit card for, we did steal the idea off um, the whole world or nothing, was... Overland and Sophia. Was it? Yeah. I'm sure it was the whole world or nothing. No, it was anyway, anyway, one of them um, used a plastic, just a white, I think it's used for showers, trim just to neaten off the edge so we've done that um, we'll just need to fill these bits here um, but hopefully it'll be, finish it off quite nicely so we've done exactly the same on this side as well just to neaten it off a tad we're gonna have to get the multi tool out at some point aren't we and just trim around these windows yeah and here but that's for another day I don't actually know how we're gonna put that but I'll just uh... I think we might just go straight up actually, depending on to about there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's looking good, Brev. <laughs> it's looking good.